Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are going to be looking at something a little bit different than normal, and this is a, a Soviet World War II helmet that suffered extreme battle damage. And these are known in the collecting community as battle damaged or KIA helmets. And they are um, definitely sort of a macabre reminder of the toll of war. Um, but they are very highly sought after, and this is a very interesting example because it did actually come from a battlefield around Moscow, and it does not appear to have ever been submerged or buried or anything like that, since it does have a lot of the original green Soviet paint on it from the period, as well as having really uh, solid metal still. Uh, it hasn't sort of turned to rust like the majority that you see for sale today. Um, so the, the story that we were given, and again, this is the story, can't be verified, is that it was picked up about 15 years after World War II and was stored in a barn after that and then was found and made it out of the Soviet Uni Union. So here it is, and it has got an extensive shrapnel or blast damage to the rear of the helmet, and it's actually deformed the entire slope of the helmet here to push it all in and the helmet is almost oval at this point. Um, this was originally a Soviet SSH-40 helmet and that was the standard battle helmet of the Soviet forces all through World War II and well beyond. It was replaced, well not replaced, but supplemented by the SSH-60 and then the SSH-68. And both of those were actually pretty identical to the SSH-40. And they were used in conjunction well up into the 2010s. And I'm sure it's probably in, still in the Soviet, inver or sorry, the Russian inventory at this point, <laughs> no longer the Soviet Union. Um, this particular one is obviously a World War II example. And uh, they were developed from the SSH-39, which is a very, very similar helmet. The difference with the SSH-39 is, as you can see, the rivets are down here for your liner. Uh, the SSH-39 had them much higher on the dome, and that's how you could d differentiate really the only way. So, as we said, this has got a severe blast wound to it. Um, actually, just completely tore into the helmet. There's a a great amount missing right here um, and deformed the entire helmet dented in here and uh, just a sort of a an interesting if not somewhat grim reminder I'll flip it over over and take a look inside it there's the inside of the blast as you can see uh, you've got a large dent in here and these have actually the the edges have actually curled in where it took a hit and this got a stress stress fracture from the concussion uh, whether or not this was being worn at the time is not really something that i feel is important to speculate on but it is a relic from around moscow that definitely did see service and was in active combat it also has some original parts of the liner uh, holder here, as you can see, and, and still got one of the uh, chin strap attachments. The other one is completely gone. Um, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this. We will take a look at some other ones, uh, German, Japanese, and maybe even an American if there's one of those available. Uh, those are actually few and far between. We'll see what we can do. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this uh, interesting item from World War II. And if there's anything you would like to see us do a video on, let me know in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe because we are putting out a fair amount of content. And look forward to doing more for you. Thank you very much.